Uh, this is just a short uh, video to show how I go about uh, fly cutting. Uh, this is my fly cutter. I believe in a lot of uh, mass in it. Now the difference between a single um, a tool fly cutter and this one is I, I use two, uh, two cutting points. Uh, one here and another one 180 degrees apart. But the main difference here is that this one is set at a slightly greater radius, about 5 millimeters greater radius than the other one. So this one contacts the work first, followed up by this one. So I set this one to take a slightly shallower cut than the other one. So what happens, this one hits the work first, takes a cut, followed then by this one a short distance behind, five or six millimeters behind, and it uh, takes another cut. Now, uh, this, this is useful for two different machining operations. One, if I want to remove um, more material in one pass uh, than I could with just a single uh, tool, I can set that one to take uh, the appropriate amount off and set this one to take an identical amount off. So I can actually remove twice the material in one pass. Uh, but in general, I, I'm not after removing a lot of metal. But where this is useful, I can set uh, this one at the greatest radius, the one that contacts first, to take the bulk of the material off. And I set this one uh, a, a small amount uh, lower uh, as, as a finishing cut. So this one in, in effect is the initial first roughing cut and then uh, this, this one will be set to be a finishing cut. Uh, what I'm going to do here now is set them so there's about half a millimetre difference between them. So this will take the first cut followed up by this one taking a half millimetre uh, deeper cut. So uh, to, to set that uh, th this one I've already got locked in place, the one that's at the smallest radius, the uh, finishing one. I'll just place that over the workpiece and just bring that down so it touches. Then I'll move that one out of the way. This, this one's already raised up, but I've got a feeler gauge here which is approximately half a millimetre, so I can put that underneath, I just need to raise the tool and put that underneath so it's set at the correct height and then I just lock it in place with the grub screw. So now I'll just set the uh, the depth of cut that looks that looks okay. Maybe Maybe a bit much. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so that's clear of the workpiece. So we'll start it up. A little squirt of WD 40 for some lubrication. Okay, that should be enough to see what's going on. Just take the workpiece out of the camera. You can see here, it's just a little bit of a burr there. The, the, the first one was taking a fairly deep cut, followed by the second one doing the finishing cut um, half a millimetre deeper okay and you can see the the effect of the other uh, tool set at a smaller radius following along six millimeters or so behind the first um, uh, the, this video was made to accompany um, a much more comprehensive um, description on the homemade tools uh, forum uh, so there's more details available there that's it